Mr. Speaker, we know that the Prime Minister broke the Conflict of Interest Act. It's obvious that he thinks that these kind of rules don't apply to people like him. But it's not just this law that he broke. He also broke his own open and accountable government rules on ethics. And we only know about this because he was caught. Mr. Speaker, what possible explanation does the Prime Minister have for his conduct? Honourable Prime Minister. As we know, Mr. Speaker, this was a uh, personal family vacation with an old friend. Uh, but as I've said many times, uh, I am uh, working with the Conflict of, uh, ethic, uh, Conflict of Interest and Ethics Commissioner uh, to answer all questions relating to this. Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Well, Mr. Speaker, with all due respect, he doesn't get to have a, a private privileged conversation with Mary Dawson. He is accountable to this House and to Canadians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this has become a huge distraction for him, and it's taken his focus away from what matters the most, which is creating jobs. It's obvious to everyone that his focus needs to be on jobs and the economy, not on damage control for one self-inflicted wound after another. So why did he put himself in this position in the first place? Right Honourable Prime Minister. On the contrary, Mr. Speaker, we remain focused on growing the middle class and supporting those working hard to join it. Uh, in our first year, uh, we lowered taxes for the middle class, raised them on the wealthiest 1 per cent. We brought in a Canada Child Benefit that gives more money to 9 out of 10 Canadian families by doing less for the wealthiest families. We're focused on investments in infrastructure that are going to create good jobs now and opportunities for our small business and our communities to thrive in the coming years. We're investing in research and innovation in a broad range of things to make sure that Canadians have good jobs now and well into the future.